The U.S. federal government is not a tree, but it kind of seems like one sometimes. For starters, it has three branches. But before I get into that, let's back up. Government's purpose is rooted in keeping order and protecting people's rights. It fulfills this purpose with laws. That is, making laws, carrying out laws, and interpreting laws. It's no coincidence that these three actions correspond with the three branches of government. One branch could do all of those things, but that's a lot of power to give one group. And too much power tends to make folks act a little crazy. Our forefathers prevented this by limiting the powers of government. First, let me tell you about the legislative branch, which is the largest. The Constitution says it can make, edit, or undo the laws for all sorts of reasons. In the U.S., people from all 50 states make up our legislative branch. They're called Congress. The next branch is the executive, which carries out the law. In the U.S., the president is the head of this branch, but the entire executive team makes sure people are following the laws. Finally, the judicial branch interprets the law. In the U.S., the Supreme Court is the highest court, and it interprets the meaning of the Constitution when it's called into question. Lower federal courts are responsible for using laws to judge the behavior of people or groups in determining punishment. All federal courts are part of the federal judicial branch. So there you have it. The U.S. government in a nutshell. Or a tree. Three separate branches with three separate powers. And one strong common root. <laughs>